Let's start with the first story and we're here in Parliament because the committee looking into the allegations brought against the Finance Minister today had its second sitting and they invited the GNPC as well as PIAC to answer some questions that had popped up. Now our parliamentary correspondent here, Ni Aikwe Okai, will throw more light on what happened in Parliament. I, thank you and welcome to the City Newsroom. Now we know two organizations appeared before the committee today. What were some of the highlights from this um, sitting? Okay, so the parliamentary committee set up by the speaker probing the vote of censure against the finance minister, Ken Ufoyata, had before it today the Public Interest Accountability Committee. Now, if you would recall, the allegation that has been leveled against the finance minister as part of these allegations was that illegal payments have been made to an offshore company uh, from the oil revenues. This is an allegation that was leveled by the minority. So they had to call on Piag to come and then also either affirm or deny this particular allegation. This was what we reported. In line with GNPC's strategy to increase its stake in viable oil blocks, the corporation acquired a 7% interest from Occidental Petroleum and Adalco WCTP company. In respect of the company's uh, deep water tunnel West Cape three point assets for 119 million United States dollars, effective 1st April 2021. JOHL made its first lifting 904 to 4,164 barrels of oil on the Jubilee Field in the first half of 2022. Mr. Chairman, an amount of 100,748,907.95 million United States dollars, which was reported realized from the lifting, was not paid into a petroleum holding fund as required by law. We wrote to the GRA, both the GRA and the Ministry for Finance, for responses on this issue. Mr. Chairman, in his written response to PIAC, on the matter, the Ghana Revenue Authority referred the committee to the Ministry of Finance, indicating that the ministry was ex exclusively in charge of the transaction. And the Ministry of Finance, in turn, referred the committee to the Ghana Revenue Authority for answers. The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GMPC, also appeared before the committee and disagreed with PIAC on the assertion, GMPC says Jubilee Holdings is a company on its own and could not transfer all of its profits into the Petroleum Holding Fund. We disagree with PIAC's um, assertion that it should have been paid to the So why? Holding. Can you explain to the committee yes. why you disagree? Yes, yeah, so Honorable Chair, um, as it was, was discussed during the, the PIAC uh, uh, testimony or submission, uh, JHL is 100% subsidiary of GNPC. Um, we believe it's a company uh, incorporated. It's a company um, registered under the Company Act. And, and obviously, the terms and conditions, the constitution of JHL is governed by the Company Act. And for that reason, 100% of the revenue cannot be paid into the Petroleum Holding Fund. Uh, the company must operate. Uh, and if at the end of the day it declares profit and, and the directors decide that dividend must be paid, that money is paid to GMPC and that money paid, of course, will be paid into the Petroleum Holding Fund. So we believe that, we believe that the JOHL is governed by the Company Act, not by the Petroleum Revenue Management Act. The eight-member ad hoc committee probing the vote of censure against the finance minister is expected to sit on Friday. And on that day, the finance minister himself, Ken Ufoyata, is also expected to react to the allegations leveled against him by the minority. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain.